the basic uh, steps using CMU simulation software. So the sink is the one needed to create an entity. An entity it could represent person or a product, a person in a service station, or a product in a manufacturing plant. And the objective is to simulate either a service station or a manufacturing plant. So we have the sink and we have the source. Source is to dispose them. Like once you finish simulation, you must, and all entities and systems, they must exit the system. So this is the sink, and we have the source here. Okay. So if you double click on the sink, you cannot leave a space. You could just, I will show you how, what do I mean by this. So if I call it system in, it's going to give me an error. So what you have to do is just to say system underscore in. And the same here. So system underscore out. Okay, so and uh, to connect both of them, there is the time pass and the pass. Uh, the time pass is like uh, if you you just want to define. I'll show it to you in a second. So this is the source. Okay, so this is the source and this is the sink. I think I've got them quite uh, wrong, but I'll fix it in a second. So we have system N for the source and system out for the sink. And the time pass is like when you define, no matter how long it is, you just define the time needed to cross between like one objective, one object and another from the standard library. So if I select this, you could just like do any shape by clicking on the line and then you, okay, once once you do this, it's time pass, you could change it. Okay, as you've done before, you could change the name. Okay, link. And same, you cannot leave a space. Link A. And so this now is link A. Travel time is 20. Just be careful with the unit. So we have here 20 seconds. And I'm going to go back to this one. Like in the properties, you have the default entity. So you need. To, to put the entity yourself. So imagine this entity is named person. Just you could call it anything you want. And so you've got person here and here is the enter arrival time, the time arrival between entities. And uh, so time offset is just like what time the first arrival would come. And enter arrival time, how much time between units. So if you want to change this, I can just need to write random and, and you just select say normal distribution for example or exponential as it is and so you have in units the entity per arrival how many one to come at the same time and also would be the stopping criteria the maximum creation before the stop or at time saying so you just want the entity to come between 8 and 9 and then it stops like for the remaining of the day, you don't want to control like the number of entities to be created, but you control the time. So create entities just like for the first hour of the day. Uh, buffer logic is mean because there's a line here, and this is like a buffer. Okay, so how many here? Saying if you sometimes resource in the middle, uh, there's no buffer, so it's only space for one person, and there's no queue. So you could just select here. As buffer, how many people to wait before they have been sent? Okay, you could just okay. So this is the first step for the system out. All I have to define is the properties is transfer in time. How much time needed to exit the system? Okay, so this is system in, system out.